generally speaking, that can be appealed. Um, a safer way would be, would be to just use a generic color name rather rather than the fun name yeah. in the listing, which I understand for makeup probably is not great because people are probably searching for the actual color name. Yeah. Um, and so so it is it is appealable. But if it's not something where people are specifically going to be searching for that fun name, I would recommend just using a more generic color name or a more obvious color name. Yeah. 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 If you're, if you can in like fishing, watermelon pumpkin is like one of the most popular colors for any base. So people search for that all the time. And so is it typically a case in that case where they want to reuse the names that they have and it is correct? Is it just a simple seller support ticket that you're doing or are you having to go above that? Uh, support can't like green light variations. Um, you would need to appeal it with the seller performance team okay. or, or the category manager if you have access to your category manager. Because usually the way they are policed are, are determined by the category manager. Okay. So you'd have to escalate it to seller performance, you said? Yeah. Well, so if they've broken up your listings, you already have a dialogue with seller performance. They'll, they'll mm -hmm. give you an appeal form. Um, and they do now give you the option to dispute if you, if you can prove that it is a valid variation. Okay. Yep. Um, so, so you would need to, you would need to dispute it via the appeal form that they give you. All right. Yeah. And just, uh, work through that pro process. Hopefully you get somebody that knows what you're talking about. In my case, somebody that knows something about fishing, <laughs> but probably not. Well, or you just have to, you know, doc show it to them, yeah, explain it yeah. and clearly if it's, if in a way that they would understand. On the product too, that's probably helpful, right? If it says watermelon, pumpkin, shad, shrimp, and all that stuff. Yeah. And yes, but also, you know, if that could also refer to shape, right? Yeah. Um, so, so being able to show that they are in fact the colors that they're referring to. Yep. Okay. Very good. Uh, anything else with variations that you've been, been seeing or that people should watch out for anything that's maybe triggering it more than something else? Um, I think the main trigger is the FTC. <laughs> um, so because, you know, when you create a variation family, that merges the reviews. Um, the FTC actually, mm. I think it was last year. It may have been the year yeah. before. Um, the FTC actually sued a supplement seller for create, for merging reviews incorrectly on Amazon to inflate the review count. Um, and so I believe that's why we're seeing greater enforcement around variations because they do affect reviews and, and ratings for the products, at least to the what, what customers can see. Yeah. So, so it is important to make sure that they are correct. And it's also important to not, you know, I'll often see sellers put in a listing that has nothing to do with that particular variation family. They just don't have any stock of it anymore, but they want to use those reviews for other products. Yeah. That is exactly what the FTC sued somebody for. So I would recommend not doing that. 